Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today, I'm looking at who I think the San Francisco 49ers should draft at number three overall, Trey Lance or Mac Jones. Yes, there's other quarterbacks out there that may or may not fall if Zach Wilson doesn't go to the Jets. That probably won't happen. And of course, Justin Fields will be roaming around. But it seems to be that Trey Lance and Mac Jones are the two finalists for who goes to the Niners. And I'm going to give my opinion on who I think they should take. But before getting to the topic, question for those of you viewing, especially the Niners fans out there, who do you want to see your team take? Or if you're not a Niners fan, who do you think the Niners should take at number three overall? Comment down below. Getting into the topic, like I said, I'm going to exclude Trevor Lawrence. He's going to the Jaguars. Zach Wilson, it seems like he's going to the Jets. And Justin Fields, who I'm a pretty big fan of, I like him to the Niners, but it just seems like he is not. He has fell out of the conversation. And between Mac Jones and Trey Lance, I am a Trey Lance guy. Mac Jones... I understand the point as to why you'd want to draft him. He's very accurate. He did very well in this past year in college football. He won a national championship, and his accuracy might be the best of any of these quarterbacks, even Trevor Lawrence. When, you, when you're when you worried about just pinpoint accuracy, Mac Jones could be the best, and Mac Jones is expected to be an NFL quarterback today. He is NFL ready. Troy Lance, he may need some development. So I do understand the argument, but to me, the San Francisco 49ers were sitting at number 12 before they traded up to number three, and they moved three first round picks to move up to number three. They pick swapped with the Dolphins at number three and gave them 12, and the Eagles and Dolphins did the trade since then, and they also gave the Dolphins two firsts as well to move up to number three. And to me, there is a good chance that Mac Jones could have fallen to you at number 12 without moving up. I mean, there's rumors now that Justin Fields could fall all the way to number 15 without the Patriots having to trade up and they could take him at 15. And the Niners are the only team really worried about Mac Jones. There's not a single other team out there hoping he falls and the Niners don't take him. Every other team is set on Trey Lance or Joseph Fields. The only team that really is like hoping to get Mac Jones is the Niners. And to me, that just doesn't make sense why you move three first round picks for a guy that you possibly could have fallen to you at 12. And I understand that you wanted to confirm you'd get your guy, but I don't think you need to trade up to number three to get Mac Jones. I think you could have traded up with <clears throat> possibly the Eagles who were formerly at six and just give up one first rounder. And I don't think anyone inside the top five is going to take Mac Jones. So to me, it doesn't make sense why you move three first round picks for a guy you could have possibly had fallen to you at 12, but it is what it is. And the argument that he is NFL ready, I understand you want a guy that is ready to win now. Kyle Shanahan, he's ready to win. Um, the entire roster is ready to win. Nick Bosa is still young. He's on his rookie contract. You want to get him. You want to build this team while some of these star talented guys are still cheap. Nick Bosa, Fred Warner in the linebacker position. And then on the offense, George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk, D Debo Samuel, Raheem Mostert. And you also just signed, um, what's his name, Trent Williams to a decent, decently long-term deal. So you want this team ready to win now. And John Lynch, the GM, is ready to win now as well. But... While Mac Jones might be ready to win now, if the Niners go forward with <coughs> Jimmy G as a starter for 2021, no matter who you draft, it's going to be a backup. Mac Jones, whether he's ready or not, and Trey Lance, whether he ready or not. So therefore, if you have Jimmy G starting, I'm going with Trey Lance just because if you're going to have a guy learning <coughs> excuse me, at the backup position, I'm going to go with Trey Lance because yes, he needs some development more than Mac Jones does, but his ceiling and upside is way higher than Mac Jones. And if they're both going to take a year off, you're assuming the year off or year off in a sense that they won't be starting the year off and then just, you know, being kind of a student to the mentor of Jimmy G, Trey Lance is going to, I feel like, learn a lot more in the next year rather than Mac Jones. I feel like he'll be the same guy. <clears throat> so on that standpoint, I have to go with Trey Lance. That's because I know we don't have a lot of film on him. He doesn't have a long college career, but the one year he does have, I believe it was 28 touchdowns and zero interceptions or 29 touchdowns and zero interceptions, 28 or 29, but zero picks. The dude's very humble. He's very mature. He has raw skill, raw talent. He's just not very, he doesn't have the entire experience, and that comes with playing in the NFL. I just think there is going to be risk to Trey Lance, but the upside and higher ceiling is just so much higher than Mac Jones. I feel like he's already at his peak. Of course, he'll get better in the NFL, but nowhere near Trey Lance. Trey Lance is seemingly, is, is compared to have the same type of ceiling as Trevor Lawrence and Mac Jones. Like I said, no other team is eyeing Mac Jones like the Niners, and that kind of tells you something. 
there's 32 teams in the NFL. Something tells me not just one team knows something different than all the other 31. They all play the same game. They all have the same goal. I don't know what the Niners see. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little sick. That the other 31 teams don't, and therefore that to me is just not a good sign. The Niners trying to prove to them, to prove to everyone they're right. Mac Jones, I get the argument, but if you're going to go into a year where Jimmy G is going to be the starter, you might as well go with a guy that will learn a lot more heading into year two, like the Patrick Mahomes and Alex Smith type of thing. Trey Lance has Alec or has Patrick Mahomes type of potential when he's behind a decent quarterback like Jimmy G, like Patrick Mahomes was behind Alex Smith. Mac Jones, I get he's a hard worker <coughs> and he has pinpoint accuracy, but the physicality is not there, the athleticism is not there, and the just raw potential is not there, especially when you gave up so much of your draft capital in the future. I'm taking the aggressiveness route, the aggressive route, and rolling the dice on Trey Lance. I think he's a better quarterback. He has better raw skill. He's more mobile, more athletic. And I understand Mac Jones is a pocket passer guy. And this is still, while the NFL has kind of transitioned to a mobile quarterback league in the sense of your Lamar Jacksons, your <coughs> Kyle Murray's, even Josh Allen's pretty athletic and mobile, your Russell Wilson's, your Cam Newton's, the pocket passer is still who wins Super Bowls. Tom Brady, for instance, yeah, Mahomes is pretty mobile, but the pocket passer is what really wins games. You win games through the air, and I understand Mac Jones. He doesn't need to be mobile in order to win games. Like Tom Brady, he's not mobile by any means, and he still wins Super Bowls. But to me, just Trey Lance, I think he could be just as good through the air as Mac Jones. So I'm taking the risk on the guy that if you're going to have someone sit behind Jimmy G for one year, no matter what, you might as well go with the guy who will be better in the year two because... Mac Jones, the argument is that he's ready to win now, yet if he's not starting, what does it matter if he's ready to win now? And I get if they move Jimmy G draft day, this could change everything, but I just don't understand the aspect of trading so much of your future for a Mac Jones guy that no other team in the league is expecting big things out of. And I understand no matter what quarterback they go with in a 49er system with a Kyle Shanahan offense, a John Lynch type of team with Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, Debo Samuel, George Kill, Brandon Ayuk, Raheem Moster, when healthy, any quarterback, if as long as they're not a complete bust, is going to succeed in that system. It's just too good to fail. They can hide their flaws because of the amount of talent on the roster and the mastermind in the coaching staff. So I understand no matter who they go with, will more likely than not get plenty of wins and possibly get a playoff run. They're very first year but I'm going with the guy who has the huge upside is Trevor Lawrence the guy that could be the next Patrick Mahomes the guy that could be better than Trevor Lawrence I'm not going to Mac Jones who I understand is a safe play but I want the guy that could possibly win it all and win multiple Super Bowls not a guy that can maybe win us one to two I want the guy that has the talent the power the raw skill to go on win three four five Super Bowls I understand neither guys have played in the NFL snap but we don't know anything yet but if I'm just saying, if it was up to me, if it was my opinion, and I was the Niners, I'm trading or I'm drafting Trey Lance. I'm just not giving up that amount of future for Mac Jones, a guy that no other team seems to really, I don't want to see, I don't want to say has zero interest in, but no other type of interest that the Niners have in. And there's already been disagreements. Kyle Shanahan wins once Mac Jones, but John Lynch, the GM, and the rest of the scouts want Trey Lance. Hopefully, I'm hoping for the Niners. The GM aspect, he does have the final say, but it's Kyle Shanahan definitely has an influence or else this conversation wouldn't be a thing. I hope the GM does stick with his final say and John Lynch and go with Trey Lance, but we'll have to see. I understand Matt Jones at the pick, but if it's up to me, I like Trey Lance. Just We haven't seen much of him, but what we have seen is a lot. Like I said, 29 touchdowns, zero interceptions. Very mature guy. He needs a year to learn. But if you got Jimmy G being the starter this season, no matter what, he's going to have a great mentor. Jimmy G's not the best quarterback, but neither was Alex Smith behind Patrick Mahomes, and I think it worked out pretty well, in my opinion. I mean, Patrick Mahomes already has a Super Bowl, already has an MVP. Trey Lance, he could go a similar route, especially on a Niners team, but we'll have to see. I want to hear from you guys. Who do you want to see the Niners draft? Mac Jones, Trey Lance, or could we possibly go outside of this conversation and go to Justin Fields? I don't think it will happen. But I think it's down to Trey Lance and Mac Jones, but I do want to hear your guys' thoughts and why, of course, not just Mac Jones or Trey Lance. I want to hear why, because I love hearing your guys' opinions. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Two in the morning.